Okay, it's 105. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and get started. Good afternoon. Thank you all for being here this afternoon. Today we are pleased to welcome Miss Serena Clooney, a very special guest from Lake Charles. Uh, Ms. Serena is the director of 211, which is associated with United Way of Louisiana. And today she will be sharing with us her expert opinion on 211 and resources in our community. Everyone is muted. Um, so we, we ask that all questions um, be placed in the chat box. Um, and ask, we ask that um, all questions are held till the end of the um, webinar. Um, with that said, um, I ask that you give your full attention to Miss Serena Clooney <laughs> in helping me welcoming her. Miss Serena, thank you so much. Please. Oh, thank, thank you for having me. I appreciate the invite. Um, and I'm honored, especially during this very busy time right now for 211. Um, as you're aware, 211 is actually statewide being promoted because we are part of the um, number to call for the pandemic that's actually happened with COVID-19 right now. So if you haven't heard about 211 before, I'm pretty sure you'll know what 211 is now. At 211 is an information and referral line that can be reached 24 seven to get resources when someone is in need within the community. 211 is 100% covered in the state of Louisiana. So if you live here in Southwest Louisiana, or if you live um, anywhere in the state, you can actually um, reach 211 by calling or texting. The way that it works is if you call 211 from a landline, you can get an, a live INR specialist and you can tell her what your need is. Um, uh, examples might be, I need a food pantry, uh, I need help paying my utility bill, and the INR specialist actually searches the database and finds any agencies within the zip code that you live that can provide that type of service, and they give you the phone number um, to contact, and if there's any eligibility requirements, they'll share that as well. Another way to reach 211 is to text 211. You can actually text to 898 211, you enter your zip code of where you live, and then the need that you have, and that goes straight to the call center, and they will search the database as well. So if you're not from Southwest or Central Louisiana, which is the database that I manage, um, they will search statewide to find any type of resource that you need. One of the things that I wanted to share is um, right now, um, we are doing the COVID 19 crisis. So right now there is a live FAQ that 211 has been keeping up with and they work directly with uh, Department of Health to answer those most question, common questions that they're getting at 211. So real quickly, um, I have a quick Word document that I did. If anyone wants to get COVID information from 211, you can text the word LA COVID to 898-211 and or you can also visit this website at la211health.org and just in just a second I'll bring you to what that uh, looks like when you actually go to the website and another thing that we're getting a lot of calls about are since so many people have been laid off um, they're worried that um, they're going to be food insecure so they're wanting to uh, get SNAP benefits. So the way 211 has stepped up with DCFS is if you text the word get SNAP to 898-211, you'll get a text message back that has the link and or any information phone number to the DCFS office that you need to go to online so that you can try to apply for benefits. So I just wanted to share that information real quickly. So real quick, if you go to la211health.org, you're gonna get this page that comes up and this is a live Google document that is updated two times a day by not only the 211 operators that get all the questions, those questions then get sent to 
the Department of Health to verify the correct answer. And every time we have a genre, a different genre of questions that come in that the public really needs to know, all of those questions and correct answers are actually being put on this document. Uh, when we first started uh, on the 12th, um, March 12th with this, um, we only had two pages. And now, as you can see, it's very extensive. So this um, has questions anywhere from the face masks, testing sites, uh, how long does the virus stay on surfaces? So there's a whole bunch of information, questions and answers that if you wanna go to this link, you can get it. And again, it's updated twice a day and it is the most accurate up-to-date information answered directly from the state. So real quickly, um, I wanted to go over some of the things that United Way of Southwest Louisiana, um, 211 is an initiative of United Way. And we have these options here that we have provided to the public for free. Uh, other than 211 in the texting, we also have the teen text line. We want teenagers to be able to have a safe space to go if they feel like they can't uh, speak to an adult about something that they're going through. And that is 833-TEXT-TEEN. And that number is 833-898-8336. If you go to United Way's website, you need to go to our Get Help option, and there you'll see information about 211, and we're gonna go straight to the teen text line. And it just kind of breaks down, uh, this is specifically targeted for groups of uh, children ages 13 to 22, and when they text on this, uh, to this number, they're actually speaking with a trained uh, crisis intervention specialist. So they'll listen to what it is that they need. Um, they make sure that um, that person feels like they're being heard. And toward the end of the conversation, they're actually gonna give them referrals of other agencies within the area um, that may offer counseling services and so forth for extended um, assistance. So we just wanted to make sure that you're aware that we do have this option for teenagers out there. One of the other things that United Way of Southwest Louisiana offers as an initiative is our crisis online chat. This is, uh, especially right now with people feeling like they're so feeling isolated because of the stay home orders, um, we're seeing a lot of people um, experiencing more depression than usual. So we also have this feature, it's the crisis chat online, and it's a live chat box that comes up here and you can actually um, type in your name, zip code, and gender, and you get to speak again via chat box with the trained INR specialist, uh, crisis intervention specialist as well. Um, the reason we ask for zip code and gender is sometimes um, toward the end of the chat conversation, they're gonna offer a referral. So we wanna make sure that um, we find out the zip code to find an agency to continue um, assisting them and if this referral might be gender specific. So we wanted to make sure that the public was aware that these are available out there. They are free of charge. Uh, we want everyone to be able to get the help that they need, especially right now. And um, one of the most important things that I like to show some of the agencies, as well as calling 211 or texting 211, um, you may have someone that's actually sitting in your office and they are needing a resource. And um, you know, you may not have um, a phone um, manual or anything, a guide or a printed guide to tell you who to call. So on our website, United Way's website, if you go to the get help option where 211 is, 211 online, you want to go there and you're going to scroll down and you'll see the box that says dial 211 or click here to access the online service directory. So if you click that button, you'll come to a search bar. And the way that I've created it is you can search by a keyword. If you live in a separate parish, and I wanna, in, in saying in a separate parish, this database um, online directory that I'm showing you is actually specific to Southwest and Central Louisiana. But if you live in another region of Louisiana, I would suggest that you call 211 or text 211 and put your zip code information in and you will receive the information that is within your area. Or um, 
you can, uh, if you know that your local United Way or your, there's an agency local to you that actually does provide a 211 service, go to their website. They should also have a 211 uh, online directory. Um, if you are um, from Lafayette and the Lafayette area, the 232 Help um, is there. So 232 Help has the same type of uh, online database search bar here like I have. So you can find information there as well. So again, check your, your local region, United Way, or agency that you know provides 211, and they should have this um, as well. So um, the way that you use it, if you're in the search bar, you wanna type in a keyword. And since this is the most popular searched item for this month, I'm just gonna type in COVID. And you wanna press search. And everything that has been put into the database that has some type of COVID related need, you'll see that all of these agencies have popped up or information about COVID has popped up. And you can actually go to, the way to access this is, I'm gonna just go to a separate page because uh, here we go. Okay, for example, um, this is a testing site. If you were looking for the testing pop-up sites for Central Louisiana, you can actually, it opens up this information. You can read everything about all of the um, clinics and or hospitals that have participated in the testing site. Um, and then when you're reading the information, it gives you um, the hours of operation, the phone numbers to call, the location, if there's any eligibility, uh, if they needed to bring a photo ID, um, insurance card, or, or if there's a fee involved, all of that would be listed here. So if you happen to have someone in your office sitting across from you, I made it an option where you can actually make a PDF of that resource and print it out and actually hand it to them. That way when they leave you, they will have that information with them. So I'm gonna close that out and I'm gonna to go to uh, one other to let you see how it works. I typed in the word food and I did the same thing, search for resources. And agencies that have provided some type of food or a uh, food pantry or a feeding site, especially for right now, um, will be listed here. I'm gonna go to I apologize, it seems like the internet's thinking pretty long today. I'm just gonna go to Abraham's tent, which is normally open every day, but I added a temporary message because due to the stay home order, um, Ms. Pearl's kitchen had to close because there wasn't enough space to, have to make an appropriate social distancing for the people that were there. So they made it to where it was to go meals only. So I set up a temporary message that said that as of this date, they, they were serving to go meals, the times, and any information about it temporarily. Once I press okay, I'm gonna still see all of the information about Abraham's tent that they provide to the homeless population or anyone with a food insecurity. So you'll notice that the business hours are there, the description of uh, where their location is, um, if there's any volunteering services or any other need or service that they provide, they would just open it and read about it here and again, make a PDF of that resources so you can hand out to the public or to the person that's actually needing assistance. And actually, this was a very quick way of giving you information about 211. So um, I'm ready to take any questions if anybody needs to ask me something specific about that service. And I also want to let you know that I will share this PDF as well uh, with China so that if you would like a copy, you will, uh, she can send it to you in an email. So um, if we have any questions, y'all can go ahead and place your questions in the chat box.
I want to say to United Way, um, if you're in Southwest Louisiana, we do have two on one cards. So if you'd like to have it in your office or your agency for the public when they come by and they need items or other resources, feel free to hand them one of the cards uh, so they have a way to know how to contact 211. I had a question. Um, are there, are you still, um, are the, we're still having to um, have them call on Mondays, um, like by a certain time? Because I know like before they were having to call like on Mondays by a certain time. On, on, on about what, I'm sorry? Call like about? particular resources or anything like that associated with like, uh, or, no, my question is, are y'all associated in any way with Catholic Charities? Catholic Charities is a referral that we give uh, for people who are looking for assistance. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, I, and, and I'm glad you asked that. And there's a, a misconception sometimes when people say, well, I call 211 for rental assistance. 211 doesn't actually offer the assistance itself. We offer the referral to an agency who does. So, you know, it's, I just want to make sure people understand that because we do have a lot of people who say, well, I called 211 and they couldn't help me pay my rent. It's not, we don't provide the funding, we provide the agency who may do so. Okay, okay. Yes, Miss Pam, you are. <laughs> that was one of the questions. One of the questions uh, that was asked was information about rental assistance and financial assistance um, for the community. So that mm -hmm. was one of the questions. Yeah, and we do have a lot of agencies who are stepping up. Um, every agency during normal operating hours outside of this pandemic, everyone has um, their own policy of how often they help and or sometimes until they run out of funds. So some people are changing up the criteria a little bit because of this unusual circumstance. So, um, you know, if, if let's say one agency might only be able to help one person per year. So in other words, if someone comes again for assistance and they see that two months ago they helped them pay rent on a normal basis, they'd have to go to a different agency. So, you know, remind uh, people that may come to you just to try that agency again and see if there's a special circumstance because of the pandemic that they may offer to help this, this client again. Okay. Um, we have another question. It says, um, how often does the information, how often is the information updated with 211? <laughs> Every minute of the day. And that is actually my job. Um, it, it, I was telling them earlier, if I could turn my computer screen around, I have TV, TV, computer, computer, and two phones. And I do live updates. So if I see something that is broadcast on the news or the government, the governor, which is our highest surge time is when the governor and the president comes on to give us more information. Um, we take that information and run with it. Um, so for example, if one of your agencies that's actually on this call now um, decides that they wanna take off a, a service that they normally provide because they just have run out of funds, all they need to do is contact me if they're in Southwest Louisiana and then say, hey, can you take this out and maybe call me back again in two weeks to see if we have more funding to assist again I do it in real time. And as soon as I make the change, it's live. So um, yeah, it, it, I update it very frequently. Okay, good, good information to know. Um, one of the other questions that was asked was, um, do you have like any two-on-one cards that y'all um, hand out in the community? Yep, we do. Okay. And, uh, yeah, and uh, it, you can actually, if in the end, if you want to send them my email and an, uh, to the people who are attending today, and if they have any need for more cards, just to email me, and I will definitely get those to them. Okay. Yeah. Um, another question was asked: um, Did you get requests for PPE, and did you have any resources for PPE? PPE is very limited with so many um, people requesting it. Um, right now, the only thing that we knew of is uh, everybody was prioritizing the hospitals and clinics uh, because there was a dire need. 
Um, but slowly we are getting um, agencies who may get a little bit of a shipment in and may offer it. But we're very slow with people providing that information. Uh, so my resource is only as good as the information that I receive. So as of right now, if it's a certain agency that's actually providing it, um, they need to let us know that they are so that we can let the public know. But in, in actually in real time, as soon as we post something, they already are out of it. So um, we're waiting on stock to get here. So I'm asking if any of the agencies that may be on this call are providing a small amount of PPE and or cleaning supplies, because um, a lot of the elderly have contacted because um, they can't get into a store to find uh, toiletries, to find cleaning supplies. So if you offer that type of service, even if it's a small one, just let me know. That way I can put it into one one so when they call, we can have that resource available. Okay. Okay, I don't see any other questions. Do anyone else have um, a question? I just wanted to let everybody know that we, really achieved a milestone as well with uh, Louisiana 211 as a whole. As of 7 a.m. this morning, the statewide uh, 211 has been over 55,000 calls to 211 to get information for COVID and other essential needs. Um, we've actually had um, over 36,000 texts and uh, not only to uh, the texting 898-211 for COVID information, uh, but for also like 40, over 40,000 people also look uh, texting the word to get SNAP that I mentioned earlier to try to get SNAP benefit information so they can go to the correct link. So 211 has been a really good resource in this pandemic. Good. Um, a question was asked about the, uh, we will be emailing out the, the PDF that she has here yeah. that she's presented on today. Mm -hmm. So yes, that will be sent out. Yeah. And also um, I can include that link so that you all can have the this updated FAQ um, that has a genre of questions that are the most commonly asked questions through 211. That way, um, because we have such a high call volume, especially again when the governor or the president speaks, um, you may be able to, instead of holding, get your question answered on this live document. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, there was another question. Are there any testing for individuals without symptoms uh, for COVID? At some of the testing sites are changing up a little bit on how they uh, are doing testing. At first it had to be, you had to have fever and one of the other accompanying cough and or sharpness of breath. Um, I think toward the end, um, it, is there a specific region that they're asking about? I can probably better answer that. That was a question from Ms. Cynthia. Is that a specific region that you're inquiring about, Ms. Cynthia? Calcasieu. Okay. Right now, um, Burton has a testing pop-up site. So their hours are between 9 and 12, and they're asking on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and this might be the last week for this pop-up location, but they're kind of changing things up where um, if you've had one of the symptoms um, or um, them as well as Southwest Louisiana for, uh, Center for Health Services, now it's do you suspect, have you been in contact with someone who's had COVID and you want to get tested? So they're lessening the requirements now because they want to make sure they get as many people tested that feel that they, you know, either been exposed to it or they may have had some of the symptoms because some people are asymptomatic, so they don't necessarily have a fever. So um, again, this is a resource in 211. So um, if you go to COVID testing sites on that online directory or call 211, they have a live document as well that I've provided as a resource in 211. And let's see, let me do this really quick. Do you know if, if a cost is associated with that? No, ma'am. Mm -mm. No. The COVID testing is supposed to be free of charge if you go there. Uh, now, this what I'm getting ready to say has not been confirmed, but someone said sometimes if you go to a um, um, urgent care that the test might be free, but to ask them first because they may charge you for like an office visit. 
So I would just suggest that you call first, which they're asking you to do. If you are running fever or, you know, and you have symptoms of, um, especially like an urgent care or your general practitioner, you need to call the office first and let them know that you have these symptoms before you just show up. So, um, but if it's an urgent care that you're trying to go through that's doing COVID testing, I would call them and see if they are gonna charge an office visit for that. Y'all have any other questions? Um, yes, Ms. Pam had a question. Um, can you tell us the areas again of, um, that 211 covers? Because she wanted to know if it covered Rapides, mm -hmm. Vernon, St. Landry, Evangeline, yes. and Allen. Louisiana is 100% covered by 211. So if you call 211 directly, they are able to connect you with the services in that area. Um, did you say it was Pam who asked the question? Yes, ma'am. The, on, the online directory that I showed you, I actually uh, do Southwest and I am the database manager for Central. So my database that I showed you all earlier actually has Southwest and Central related resources. But when you call or text 211, as long as you put the zip code in um, of where you live, you will get regional information statewide. She said, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, any other questions? Now is the time to ask them. <laughs> and reminder, it's a free service. So the only thing is if you have a, a phone, uh, data rates may apply, but other than that, you know, all this is provided as initiative by United Way of Southwest Louisiana. Okay. So if we do not have any other questions, um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna conclude this webinar. Um, I do wanna let y'all know that once we are um, done that we will have a survey at the end and I do ask that y'all um, complete it for me. Um, I do get brownie points like Ms. Melinda always say. <laughs> We get brownie points if you complete our surveys at the end. <laughs> um, also, we will be sending out the information that was presented today to um, everyone that attended. Um, and I want to give a big thanks to Miss Serena for taking time out of her busy day <laughs> to um, answer the questions um, for us here. Um, I know that her schedule is uh, jam-packed, so I appreciate you so yeah. much, so much, so much. Oh, that's not a problem. I enjoyed it. And I also wanted to extend this offer. What I'm doing today, if your agency would like me to do it for your employees as well, to show them how to use the online directory, just give me a call and we can set up an appointment like this, and I'll be glad to do a virtual or even an in-person outreach for employee, your employees as well. Good to know, good to know. Very good to know. All right, well, thank you again, Miss Serena. I appreciate everyone for attending. Um, our next webinar um, will be scheduled for uh, the 27th. Um, it will be um, with uh, Early Steps. Uh, Play and Learn with Ms. Jenny Dees. So if anyone is interested in participating in that, um, go on our um, Facebook and we have that advertised on that as well. Go to our website and you can register. Um, we also have another webinar scheduled on the 29th for uh, mental health as well. Um, so um, I look forward to seeing y'all again and thank y'all so much for attending. Bye. Thanks for having me, everybody. Bye. Thanks. You're welcome.